Okay, now let's go to the good. Ron DeSantis. All right, a little bit of a palate cleanser here. Ron DeSantis gave a press conference yesterday. What a contrast between what you just saw from Asa Hutchinson and this here. Uh, the press conference, the whole thing was great, but I, I loved, especially when we get towards the end, speaking directly to Biden. Let's, uh, let's play this. Joe Biden has taken to himself to try to single out Florida um, over COVID. Uh, this is a guy who ran for president saying he was going to, quote, shut down the virus. And what has he done? He's imported more virus from around the world by having a wide open southern border. You have hundreds of thousands of people pouring across every month. And it's not just from Mexico. In fact, it's rarely from Mexico. You have over 100 different countries where people are pouring through. Not only are they letting them through, they're then farming them out all across our communities across this country, putting them on planes, putting them on buses. Do you think they're being uh, worried about COVID for that? Of course not. So he's facilitating. Who knows what new variants are out there? But I can tell you, whatever variants are around the world, they're coming across that southern border. And so he's not shutting down the virus. He's helping to facilitate it in our country. Why don't you do your job? Why don't you get this border secure? And until you do that, I don't want to hear a blip about COVID from you. Thank you. There it is. He's exactly right about the border, of course, that Joe Biden is inviting into the country hordes of infected people and just letting them in. Letting them in to spread the, the, the virus. It's, you can look at a map of where COVID is, is spreading the most right now and where, the, where the, the biggest spikes in cases are. And wouldn't you know, I mean, what a coincidence that so many of these big spikes are happening down south n- near the border. What <laughs> a crazy, it's like, I, you know, I, I, I don't know. Again, again, not an epidemiologist, but it just seems like you're uh, opening up the border. You're inviting people in. We know that hundreds and thousands of these people are infected with COVID. And then, and then it, around the areas where they're coming in, we're seeing spikes in cases. It's like you might actually draw some sort of connection. I don't know. So he's exactly right, of course, about everything that he said. Um, Joe Biden is facilitating the spread of the virus. And he knows that's what he's doing. To the extent that he knows anything anymore, to the extent that he knows what he's doing at all in general in life, to the extent that he, that he knows that he's eating breakfast while he eats it, he knows what he's doing down on the border. He's doing it intentionally. And uh, Ron DeSantis is exactly right about that. And this is, this is what we need from Republicans. Again, the contrast between Asa Hutchinson, utterly ineffectual, useless and then Ron DeSantis, who is really getting things done as a governor. You, you, you don't play defense. The other contrast here is Asa Hutchinson playing defense. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. You're putting the shield up, hiding behind the podium practically. He was all but ducking behind the podium. Don't yell at me. I'm sorry. Um, that's defense. Whereas Ron DeSantis has gone right after them. And doing it in meaningful ways. Which is why Ron DeSantis should be considered our front runner for 2024. I mean, yeah, it's still it's still far away. He hasn't officially announced that he's running for president yet. If he does run, listen, every time I say this, I know it upsets a certain portion of the audience who don't want to hear it. But um, at this point, Looking forward to what is a likely scenario in the Republican primaries for 2024, where you've got a whole field of people, and behind that field is, at front, Donald Trump and Ron DeSantis. There is no reason to support a 78-year-old Donald Trump over Ron DeSantis in 2024, except just that you're invested in a personality cult. Like at this point, assuming that both of those guys are in the running and are an option for voters, if you're going with Trump, it's, it's because you're in the personality cult. There cannot be any other reason. There really can't. 78 years old, he's going to turn, he's as old as Biden. He will be as old as Biden when he gets to 2024. So you're giving him a second shot in his 80s to accomplish some things that, frankly, look, Trump, to accomplish some things that Trump never even came close to accomplishing the first time, didn't even try. Even simple things like drain the swamp, 
Can, can we be honest with each other? Trump did not drain the swamp, didn't try to, made no attempt. In fact, he surrounded himself with the swamp and listened to them for four years. Did their bidding. That's the, that's the truth. He had, Trump had very little interest in, in, in the act of actually governing. And also, it is Trump's two biggest flaws, okay? Little interest in the actual act of governing. The, the work of governing, especially the boring stuff. The stuff you're doing behind the scenes where you're really governing. Little interest in doing that. And um, also, Trump always cared deeply what people said about him. And how, they, and how they felt about him. And so he spent the entire four years defending himself personally. And he was also, on the other side of it, he's susceptible to flattery. So if you flattered him, he would let you into the circle and listen to you. Um, Ron DeSantis doesn't have those flaws. I'm not saying he's flawless. He's a politician. They, I mean, all people have flaws, politicians especially. But those are not flaws that he has. He, he is very interested in the act, act of governing. He's very good at it. And he doesn't seem to be, he doesn't seem to really care what anyone says. And there's no evidence that you can flatter your way into his heart and manipulate him that way. So almost all of the good points of Trump are shared by DeSantis. And most of the bad points are not shared. And he's a lot younger. Um, and he's a rising star. So, to me, it's an easy decision. I, I, I just, I, I, it, I would like for someone to make a case for me for Trump over DeSantis that goes beyond personality cult stuff. If you could do it, I, I'd be interested to hear. Well, I hope you enjoyed that clip from the Matt Wall Show. If you did, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right down there so you can stay up to date on all of our future content.